Hi, I'm Uzo Aduba, and I'm here to show women's health how I keep busy morning, noon, and night. Come on. I stick to a routine on an average day by the dog, first and foremost. Whether I want to sleep in or not, he is absolutely going to start the day. There he is. He's like, I heard my name. Benway, he's, he's like, You'll meet him shortly. Uh, work obviously keeps me busy because of the current climate with quarantining. Things that are keeping me busy are more inside the house work-wise as far as reading and writing. In particular spending time with my loved ones, that's a huge priority for me. That is satisfying for me and I think ultimately charts the rest of my life and days, really. They are my rock. They keep me centered, they know me the best, they keep me laughing, they're my support. Yeah, I think that's the thing, that's where my self-care comes from. And it's just also remembering what's important. So I normally start my day about 7.30, 7.45 because of Mr. Bark. Uh, and we are out the house no later than eight because he is ready for his walk. Yeah, I am not a morning person, not in the least. Not anybody would tell you since childhood, my mother included. But I've become more of a morning person because of him and have really taken to enjoying. Oh, look at the puppy! Come on, buddy. I wish. I wish. Social distance. We can't. I wish. I know. He doesn't understand why we can't stop. I think. I don't speak dog. It's funny because the walk is for him, but it's also started to become something for me too because. It's a really great time to just warm up into the day. You just get to enjoy some new time, which I think is very, very, very helpful for wellness. Yeah, I love it. It's become very important to me, you know, and if you're dealing with anything challenging, it's it becomes even more important this time to get, you know, what we have together. We get to just walk. Why do you keep grabbing on your leash? <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. So it's about midday right now. And at this point in the day, I'm usually finishing the first half of my afternoon spent reading scripts, talking to my team, talking to my family, catching up on uh, what's going on around the world. And so now it's lunchtime. And a way that I really like to take a break is to cook. I really enjoy cooking and taking the time in the day in particular to do this because it's creative still you know um it's an opportunity where i get to quietly get to think just to myself um it's productive at the same time a productive uh activity um i think it also helps me not lose my energy throughout the day you know number one because i'm nourishing my body number two because I'm still in a creative process. And so today I'm just making a salad. And you could just make a salad and put like tomatoes and peppers in it and call it a day. But I like the idea of kind of seeing a bunch of different things in there and coming up with a beautiful, colorful, interesting story in the salads. Whenever I'm cooking at home, I always like to use stuff that I've bought around the world and that, I don't know, means something to me. And these are salad tongs that I bought when I was in Uganda. It sounds probably a little cheesy, but I think it brings a bit of that life into the food. I love it, and every time I'm making salads, I get to enjoy that experience. There's an idea out there that, you know, dinner is the most exciting meal of the day, or the one where all creation can happen, and I just, I don't subscribe to that personally. I think every meal can be creative and exciting, and this is just fun. It's a good, nice midday break. We've reached the night portion. Um, my day. What I do to unwind is I like to read. Definitely sleep better and I also dream better. I usually, in all honesty, if I'm reading a book before I go to bed, will fall asleep while reading it. The book will like be <laughs> under my face and somewhere in the middle of the night I'll wake up. But yeah, it really, really, really relaxes me, calms my mind. It's easy to get caught up in the speed of the day and I just really like to bring myself down and calm and slow my energy. It's cozy, it's nice to get under a good blanket, it's nice to hear somebody else tell you a story rather than you be the storyteller. I just like it. I 
try my best to get to bed at the same time every night. Do I always? No. Generally, I can stay up late. I can stay up late, but because I know I'm gonna get up super early, I go to bed and also because I like to sleep, I go to bed. With that, I am now going to go to bed, but I wanna say thank you very much for watching my morning, noon, and night. And please remember to subscribe to Women's Health and to check out Mrs. America on FX on Hulu. Have a great night, you guys.